Ever gotten the chance to ride in an amphibious assault vehicle? Say that five times fast. I was lucky enough to get a chance to do a ride-along. Hey everybody, this is Karen Kraft, a visual journalist with the Tennessean, and I welcome you all to this immersive 360 degree look at my ride along with the Marines as they run practice drills showcasing their amphibious assault vehicles in the Cumberland River during the Marine Week here in Nashville, Tennessee. If you look down and to the left, you'll see me holding one of our 360 cameras via hand, as it was difficult to determine where exactly I can mount that camera safely and to keep it out of the reach of the river as they are not waterproof. So forgive me for the intense close view. <laughs> if you look up, way up in the sky, you will see the helicopters that were flying around us. In fact, I believe it is the MV-22 Osprey that's flying overhead. This was during the drills for the marine performance held at Riverfront Park, in which the AAVs were showcased. Many people never actually get the chance to see them up close and in action. So this was really cool. Leading my ride along today and his crew of Marines and infantrymen is Gunnery Staff Sergeant Michael Espinoza, an amphibious assault commander with the 2nd Battalion, 6th Marine Regiment. You can see him there to the right in the director's chair. That's not a military term. And if you look in front of me, you can see the helmet of our incredible driver, Sergeant Robinson. The day was hot, just around 95 degrees, and with the added weight of a vest, helmet, and other uniform gear, well, it makes for a sweltering ride. That's why you see Staff Sergeant Espinosa repeatedly wiping the sweat from his eyes during our time on the Cumberland River. And if you're looking directly at me, sitting there in the turret seat, I'm sweating as well. This immersive video shares my experience in an above the water and ground view of the AAVs as they make their way down the Cumberland River to Riverfront Park. The experience was amazing and it's just one more reason to be proud of and thankful for the Marines that were here today and every day.